let's create another example first of all we'll create a folder 6 underscore JSTL and uh, now we'll create a JSP page index.jsp we will save this page into the application route save now we will create an array list I specified string as its type safety string but before using this array list we must use a page directive import attribute java dot util util dot error list now we will save this error list into the session scope as we did in earlier example session is an implicit object in JSP session dot set attribute the attribute name error and the value pair is list now these two lines will invoke in the server side only huh? but the rest of the page will be sent to the client and client would be able to navigate to some other page the link and specifying the hyperlink reference suppose I said uh, xyz dot JSP when the user will click over the link we will navigate the user to the xyz JSP page now let's create another JSP page xyz dot JSP now because uh, this time again I'm going to use C for each so first of all include the taglib directive taglib prefix URI HTTP colon slash slash java dot sun dot com slash jsp slash jstl slash core so no need to get attribute and then use it just write the c for each tag that's very simple c for each closing tag now we will create two attributes where and items uh, inside the item we will specify the el no need to uh, write uh, a scriptlet to get the attribute uh, session dot get attribute no need to type cast no need to create a variable to store the attribute value just write the c for each tag and specify that attribute into the items uh, attribute uh, the attribute name was r Hmm. in index.jsp we created a session scope attribute naming error and in xyz.jsp we are trying to access that attribute and uh, because we are specifying this attribute into the items attribute uh, so that uh, each time the for each will access uh, one element from the error list but uh, in the previous page we saved the error list but we uh, didn't store any record into the list so first of all just uh, uh, add some records into the error list add Ganesh list dot add Mukesh list dot add Mahesh one more record list dot add Vidyut now because error list uh, contains some record and such error list uh, is saved into the session scope and now we are navigating to some other page where we are accessing that attribute mm. and now uh, we need to declare some variable here suppose x mm. and inside this tag I want to show the records so you can create some other tag um, I'm using the h1 tag only this is the h1 tag and here comes the C out tag or we can simply use the EL as we stated earlier C out value specify the EL 
and inside the el write the attribute name which is saved into the page scope now let's run this example 6 jstl 6 underscore jstl enter now click over the link and you can see the records saved into the error list so we navigated to some other page where we fetched the attribute and uh, iterated over the attribute one by one we shown the, all the records saved into the error list so in this example i tried to show you in items attribute you can not only specify the array but uh, you can also specify the error list okay in the next video i'll show you another example in that example i'm going to use the same same c for each loop so see you in next video